we're getting ready to go across the street and show you all the other stuff we, on the other we, side of the road that we haven't we seen anybody show yet. And of course the resort doesn't want you to know about it because they got their own shops and their own restaurants. But we're gonna go over there and see what there is to see. Here we go. We're at Prospector's, which is a local pizza place. Pizzeria and Ale House. Pizzeria and Ale House. Yeah, they've got uh, quite the uh, beer menu here. They do. And the food looks, I mean, they've got a, a good pizza menu too. Mm -hmm. um, we'll We're gonna see. get some local beer. Yep. We're gonna get some 49th State Brewing yes. uh, beer, which looks pretty cool. Mm -hmm. We got fried ravioli. You got a beer. What beer did you get? Doll the something? Doll. Golden Doll. So yes. B A L L, like cheap. I was looking at something else, but this is the local from the 49th. Yep, 49th State, State Brewing. This yep. is humongous for a triple. <laughs> That's a big pour, no <laughs> doubt. And I got this beauty right here. This is the Solstice IPA from 49th State Brewing. Right there. Wow. That's supposed to be a 12 inch pizza. That's a big one. And what was that again? There you go. The Gold Rush. Gold Rush pizza. So you got chicken and you got fresh chicken tomatoes, ranch. Bacon, bacon ranch. Yeah. Some kind of cheese. I don't know if that's mozzarella. Or... It's mozzarella and provolone, I think. And I got the Kodiak pizza that's got pepperoni, reindeer sausage, bacon, and other stuff on there. <laughs> nice looking pizza. Okay, so I ordered a Belgian triple because it is my favorite style of beer. For those of you that don't know, not many people do. Um, so it's 9%, okay, it's 9% beer, which is pretty good for beer. And normally, you would give it in a small glass. Uh, yeah, um, maybe they, a 10 ounce pour yeah, at most. Yeah, they filled my cup up. Look at the size of the glass. <laughs> yeah, so that's a, at least a full pint. Oh, I'll tell you what, this is the big beer. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> So I got to say lunch here at uh, Prospector's Pizzeria and Group Up. Pizzeria and Ale House. Uh, lunch, dinner, whatever. Very good. Uh, the pizza was very good. Uh, about 20 bucks per pizza. And 15 bucks for the uh, ravioli. Beers were about 8.50 a piece, I think. So uh, not bad prices. In fact, we paid a little bit more for lunch and have enough left over for dinner than we did for our breakfast buffet at Carson. So, uh, good deal, great place to come, especially if you got a group of people, you know, get a couple of, we got a small pizzas at 20 bucks, we could get a 16 inch. Uh, 
see quite a crew for raising that money. Yeah, and I think we've uh, one of the people told us that uh, Isaiah from the train told us that uh, this place had some of the best margaritas made with fresh lime juice and made from scratch and that kind of thing. So, if you're ever here, you might, may want to check it out. Sun comes out. Sun comes out and it gets warm. Quick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Stripping off our jackets. Yep, taking off our jackets and short sleeve shirt for me at least. Still have your sweatshirt on. Yeah, but sweat two sweatshirts is not enough right now. Walk, it's too much right now. Walking around these uh all the little shops here across the street. Yeah. They've got some some really neat places. They've got mm -hmm. several coffee shops. They got a subway, great jewelry. They, lots of great uh, local art and jewelry stores and t-shirt shops and yeah. uh, at least a couple of two or three different ice cream places. So uh, plenty to see and do if you're just hanging around uh, the resort or around Denali here uh, outside of the park. Subway. So. All right, let's All right. keep going. Moving on. It's getting cooler now, the sun went in. <laughs> yeah, the sun finally went in while we were inside of Three Bears Gallery here, what talking with Tony. Neat, amazing place. Yeah. If you like gorgeous photography and nature photography and things like that, and you come to Den Denali, make sure you go in this gallery. Yes. Because they've got some absolutely amazing prints. Some of the the things that you wanted to capture while you were going through the park and, and didn't and didn't have a lens long enough yeah. to or didn't see the animals or whatever. You want a picture like that, they've got them in here yeah. and the prints are just phenomenal. So um, definitely check it out. They also ship anywhere. In yeah, they ship uh, and, and I think they're metal prints ship for free to the lower 48 so yeah uh, and they've got a website I think you've got the card right I have the card. We'll, we'll put uh, a link down in the description to their website so if you want to check out uh, their photography uh, you can order online and it's a family-run small business so yeah it's a cool. it's a small business run by a couple of brothers so um, really neat place you know they're not there's no sponsorship or anything on this nope. it's just when we meet cool cool people and cool shops and things like that that we think you should go in yeah. we want to let you know talk to and you in like 45 minutes this is a couple of blocks down from uh the holland america chalet resort and right, and across, right across the street from the princess. denali princess yes so um not too far away but a, a neat little shop so so All right, guys. I need my jacket. Yep. <laughs> and it's time to move on down the road here and see what else we can see. So we came. We saw all the shops. A lot more than I expected. Yeah, there, there's there's a lot going, of shops going, going. <laughs> uh, I mean, you've got what 
three or four different restaurants. So you've got a Subway, you've got a pizza place, you've got a uh, Turkish kind of place, and you've got a Thai and Chinese place over here to eat. Uh, you've got a couple of different ice cream shops and, and fudge shops, and then you've got multiple gift shops with everything from the cheap Chinese stuff that you find in the ports all the way up to handmade Alaskan artist uh, products. So you pretty much got the full gamut. You got yeah. t-shirt shops, you've got all the little gifts that you could ever want. Something for everyone. Something and, for everyone. And, and in the price range that you're looking for. Yeah. Uh, everything from, you know. A couple of bucks to a couple of thousand bucks. Right. So. They've got you covered over here. You, yeah. There's a, a lot of different shops, so you could spend an afternoon over there easily, going through, buying stuff for the friends and family back home that are that are jealous, yeah, uh, and that you went to Alaska without them. But yeah. <laughs> and the sun's back out. Yes, the sun has come back out. So you know what that means? That means there's a chance, a slight chance, that it'll be clear enough tonight to see the aurora borealis yeah so i'm gonna just put we'll it see. there right now we're gonna see it tonight yeah we're gonna see it tonight between 10 a uh, 10 p.m and 2 a.m um, i don't know how he's gonna stay up right? and it's it doesn't even get dark until about 12 15 or until after midnight and then it doesn't get that dark it's still kind of like twilight so not sure exactly how great it's going to be. No, the darker the sky, the better the light. So yeah. But we'll see. But we'll see. We shall see. All right. If it, if we can catch it, you will. You see will see it. Too. <laughs> yes. Might be photographs. I don't think you can do much in the way of video for it. But I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll find out. Perfect weather for our jackets now. Yeah. Glad we got these. They're pretty warm. <laughs> oh yeah. They were way too warm to wear a few hours ago. I was standing in the room and I was waiting for Corey to get dressed and I'm like, I'm going to wait for you outside. I'm getting warm. He's like, fine. <laughs> so we are on sort of, kind of um, Northern Lights watch. I mean, it's almost 11 o'clock right now. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's 1040. <laughs> it's 1040. Look how light the sun is yes. still shining. The, it's freaking amazing. You can still see sun shining over the hills right there. So. I don't think actual sunset is till like midnight. It's uh, 12, last night it was 12.10, so let's so. see what it is tonight. This is Denali Park, 12.12. 12. 12.12. 12. 12. 12. It's two it's, minutes it's later. Official sunset, night. yes. Yeah, officially. Uh, and then the sunrise, 3.38 a.m. Mm, yeah, so <laughs> eh, like three and a half hours of, of darkness, supposedly darkness, but... I looked out the window at like two o'clock in the morning this morning and it was yeah and it was a little bit lighter than this or a little bit not quite as as light as as it is right now yeah and there's sort of there's no ambient light here other than the, the uh, little fire pit right in front of us but so if I look like I'm glowing it's because there's a fire right there yeah so anyway we're gonna sit out here for a little bit enjoy some of the warmth of this fire and maybe have a drink there's a couple handfuls of people here yep we've got to have our bags outside our door by 7 30 in the morning and we we're gonna be boarding a bus to anchorage at nine right mm -hmm. so uh we've got seven or so hours on that bus tomorrow so we're gonna catch up on our sleep. we'll probably try to catch up on our sleep during that and i, I don't know that we'll have a vlog tomorrow uh, we may not. From that day. Depends on what we see or you yeah. know, if there's anything to see along or the way. when we get to Anchorage. Or when we get to Anchorage, yeah. We'll see. Our room, I'm hearing mixed reviews about the hotel, so I have no idea where to we'll, we'll have to see how that hotel stacks up. Yeah. Looks like uh, there's enough sunlight out to uh, transition my glasses. A little bit. <laughs> I want to take a picture. Yeah. So I came out here. Corey was resting in the room for a little bit. Yes, I'm, have to stay I'm reading my new book. For those who don't know, I love history. And so I'm reading this book about uh, Harry Karstens, yes. who was the uh, 
first uh so rude I was cheap in the middle of the story and cut off the muzzle finished it. Hi, well, Sorry. That's fine. I didn't realize you were telling a story too. <laughs> oh good. <laughs> so this guy was uh he led the first descent of Mount McKinley or Denali Mountain. And he was also the first chief ranger here at Denali National Park. So anyway, interesting story. So your story, I'm sorry. Yes, well he was in the room, so I came out. And I was gonna check out how things were going out here. I didn't bring my watch, I didn't bring my phone, and I had my black hoodie zip up that I always wear. So I come out and I was and I was sitting in a in a um, rocking chair and I started feeling really weird. Like I had no idea what time it was. I knew Corey wasn't coming. I couldn't call him to bring me anything. I wanted to take pictures and I couldn't because I didn't have my phone. I was like, okay, this is really weird. And then I started getting really cold. And then once I was too cold, I was like, all right, that's it. I'm going back. I'm getting my jacket, I'm getting my phone, I'm getting Corey. <laughs> and we're coming out. So yep. this is where we're at. So we're gonna... Now we can take pictures of that over there. We're gonna hang around for a little bit and see if we can catch these northern lights. If we do, we'll put them at the end of the video. But in the meantime, thanks for joining us on this episode as we went around uh, McKinley Chateau Resort. Chalet. Chalet. Mc I keep saying chateau, it's not chateau. McKinley Chalet Resort here, uh, right outside of Denali National Park. The gate. And the gateway to the gateway. Denali National Park. Gateway and also the, uh, the shops and such that line the highway right in front of the, uh, the resort. Uh, thanks for joining us. If you haven't done so already, please give us a thumbs up on this video. That helps YouTube recommend it to other people just like you that enjoy these kind of videos. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you won't miss a thing from all of our adventures here in Alaska and in other places around the world. All right, guys. Do it. Until next time, from peaks to tides. We'll see you on the next ride. Bye, guys. This is all natural light. Is it, oh, oh, that's the train. train. It's the train. It's one o'clock in the morning here. Yeah, it's like maybe one o three. Yeah. <laughs> and look at this. This is this is what nighttime looks like in Alaska. On June. 11th? Yeah. 12th? 12th now, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is what 1 o'clock in the morning looks like. Uh, Can't believe you stayed After up. sunset. Yeah. No northern lights. Okay. No, it's starting to get cloudy. It's starting to get cloudy, now. so yeah. yeah, there's no chance, and it, it's kind of too bright uh, this time of year to really be able to oh, see much. Oh. But anyway, good night. Yeah. See ya.